Welcome to this week's DI Why Not segment. Joining me from Salvage to Sassy is Lisa Smith. Thanks so much for being back with us this Thank week. You. Thank you. We're going to talk about something I've heard about this product before, and I've never yeah. actually used it on anything, so I'm so excited. It's a gel stain, right? Mm -hmm, it is. And why is that one of your go-to products? Yeah, it's it's a life-changing um, <laughs> product. You're going to love it. It's thick, like mm -hmm. pudding. So you can like put it on with your paintbrush, you can use a sponge, okay. you can use a foam brush, or just a regular old cheap little chip brush. You can use anything to apply it with. Mm -hmm. I've even done it with paper towels. Um, you put it on, it's nice and thick, and you can put it on like paint. So you can leave it really dark and heavy, mm -hmm. or you can wipe it back and let some of the wood grain show through, and it's very forgiving. You have a little play time with mm -hmm. it. And, and it's life changing, let's it's not forget. Life changing. <laughs> so you're just, just dip gonna in. put it on. Okay. Move your spoon, move the spoon here. So about that much? That's fine. Okay. Spread it on and you can put it on thick. You can put it on thin. This but this bench is um, a little rough around the edges, but just go ahead. Now the thing that you can do with this is uh, you can put it over top of just very lightly sanded wood if you mm -hmm. want to change, like the old oak cabinets that have that orange sure. cast. If you wanted to darken them up a little bit, you could do that. Just a light scruffing with the sanding block. That does block. smell a little bit like paint. Mm -hmm. it, it has a paint texture, um, and it does have a little bit of an odor. So if you're sensitive to that, sensitive to odors, you do want to go outside and, and work um, on these pieces. And what you can do with this is you can leave it like this um, if you want it to look really dark. But if you want the wood grain, and I've wiped this side back to show a little bit of the wood grain. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to wipe it back and show some wood grain, that's okay. what we're going to do. All right. So as you can see, uh, you don't have the streaks that you have with the, the typical stain that mm -hmm. would be liquid and, and um, dripping everywhere. <laughs> so now we have a new, we could do a table, a plant stand. Exactly. Tons you can of do different anything directions. with it. With a good 24 hours of drying. Mm -hmm. um, you can take a top coat to it, and you can use your sheen that you like, if you like a flat or a satin or a gloss, mm -hmm. and just give it a little extra protection. And again, what did we use? You used gel stain, and gel stains are available. Um, a lot of the paint companies now are mm -hmm. making them. And you, thank you so much, as always, for oh, joining thank us. You. I'm going to shake your hand because I'm still gloved up <laughs> for my project. But don't forget, send us pictures when you have a DIY Why Not project. Yeah. Tell us your Let Facebook us page. See. My Facebook page is Salvage to Sassy. We can't wait to see what you're trying at home. Thanks again, Lisa. Thank you.